Seth Greenberg and I were just talking about it. They, the, the bluest of blood uh, in this year's Final Four, Duke, Kansas, Villanova, and Carolina. And so here is my uncle Seth Greenberg, no relation. And, you know, we'll have all week to sort of preview these games specifically. But Duke, Carolina obviously jumps off the page. It's never happened before in the NCAA tournament, Seth. How do we explain how it is it came to be here? Duke's playing like the best team in college basketball, a team that's going to win the national championship. It's just not their identity. It's how they're playing the game. Think about this, Greeny. Duke right now, they're averaging 41 and a half points in the paint. They're living in the paint. 52% of their points come in the paint. They're shooting 70%. That's different. Jeremy Roach now, he has the ball in his hands. He's making plays, making the game easier, pressuring the ball. Playing about 35 minutes a game. Mark Williams has been the most dominant big in the country. Now, Carolina fans, don't lose your mind. Armando Baycott's been great. But Mark Williams impacts the game at the rim defensively, offensively. He's finishing and rebounding the basketball. Duke's playing like a championship team that they are. I mean, you think about it. And to me, I have a philosophy on this, Greeny. I'd be interested to see how you feel. Yeah. Duke's season doesn't start. It doesn't start until they get to the NCAA tournament. Of course, at Duke, you're judged by two things. Final fours and national championships. And all that stuff with Coach K, Coach K's senior night, Coach K's last ACC tournament, Coach K's celebration, that's in the rearview window. When you get to the NCAA tournament, it's about the team, the team, the team. Yeah, I think that's reasonable, but I can say the same thing to some degree about Carolina. And there was a moment in time this year where it didn't even look like they were going to make the tournament, and now they come in playing extraordinarily well, and they did beat Duke, of course, legendarily in, in Coach K's senior night. So who do you like in this matchup? Gilbert Davis done an amazing job, but I still like Duke, and it's real simple. Count the pros. I mean, Duke's got first five first-round draft choices. I mean, every way you turn is going to be a guy that's going to be putting on a uniform and shaking the commissioner's hand. So, look, I love what Carolina's doing. I love how they're playing. I love the job that Hubert Davis does navigating the season, making the changes, uh, stay, staying the course, dealing with the adversity, the ball in R.J. Davis's hand. But it's real simple. Count the pros. I mean, if you look at this Duke team, You've got Banchero, you've got A.J. Griffin, you've got Moore, you've got Keels, you've got Mark Williams. Those are five first-round draft choices. <laughs> and then you have Jerry Roach, who's playing 35 minutes a game. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hall of Fame coach, five national championships, a zillion trips to the 14 trips to the Final Four, and then you have five pros. Come on now. They're going to be very tough to beat. Again, the blood is awfully blue at this weekend's Final Four, and Uncle Seth will be here all week long. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.